Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks and appreciation from the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, upon His Majesty's patronisation of the National Action Charter Conference held by the Council of Representatives in cooperation with the International Peace Institute on the 17th anniversary of the National Action Charter. Al Mullah expressed gratitude for His Majesty's support to the Kingdom and wise directives in light of His Majesty's reform project. He reiterated his keenness towards further work and achievements in the Council and all state institutions under the rule of law and constitutional institutions. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa met yesterday with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan in Al Dafra. In the presence of the ruler's representative in Al Dafra, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the meeting reviewed the strong historic relations between the two countries and the mutual keenness of the leaders of Bahrain and the UAE to further develop them in the interests of the people. Present were the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as His Majesty's accompanying delegation and senior officials in the UAE. His Majesty the King then participated along with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed in falconry. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa left the United Arab Emirates after a private visit. He was seen off by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan. In the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Sultan bin Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Sheikh Nada bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the 15th horse race of the season in Sakhir. It was held over the cups of Al Sharif Group, Crown Company, Irish Horse Marketing Company, and Waho. At the end of the race, the winners were honoured.
A very good evening. You're watching the business news in Bahrain International with me, Heba Abd Ghaffar. Bahrain All Share Index has closed this week with 28,635,223 shares, worth 6,688,835 Bahraini dinars, conducted through 423 transactions. Investors traded in 23 companies, 9 witnessed a rise in shares, 8 fell and the rest maintained their shares. The commercial banks was the leading sector and the investment sector came in second. The Bahrain Economic Development Board announced the first fantastic Bahrain week from the 19th to the 21st of February. The week-long series of activities will bring together around 700 international and regional financial services experts to explore disruptive innovation across the industry. The return of the 7th annual GCC Financial Forum will be the backbone of the week, taking place on the 20th and the 21st of February. It will also conclude the much-anticipated launch of Bahrain Fintech Bay on the 21st of February, which will offer an exciting glimpse into the region's largest fintech hub and how it will work with established industry leaders and new entrants from the region and around the world. Moreover, supporting events will take place across the kingdom's dynamic startup community, supporting investors and young businesses at all stages of the startup journey.